Back here in the United States, President Barack Obama's inauguration last week drew millions of people to Washington. Millions more in Africa and around the world watched the historic event on television, listened on radio, or paged through their favorite newspapers for updates. Alex Chamwada works for Citizen TV in Kenya. Martin Zoloja is with The Guardian newspaper in Nigeria. Just two of thousands of international reporters who came to the U.S. to cover the 2008 elections and Mr. Obama's inauguration. Chamwada came as part of a partnership between Voice of America and Citizen TV. We knew the only way we can localize the story and have messages that have direct impact to our audiences was to come here ourselves. Oloja says U.S. elections offered a unique opportunity for African journalists to educate their public. We are beginning to let our people know that uh, you cannot continue to manipulate election and get away with it. Chamwada says Kenyan interest in Mr. Obama goes beyond his ties to Africa. He says Kenyans were hungry for news about democracy that works, especially following their own presidential election in 2007 that ended in violence and a negotiated coalition government. They're saying we informed them very well about how primaries are done, how elections are done in a free and fair manner, and how eventually the transition process is conducted in a mature manner. Oloja recalled Nigeria's own controversial elections and many others around Africa. He said he was inspired by part of Mr. Obama's inauguration speech. I was a veiled caveat to African leaders about people who got to power through corruption and people who have always blamed the West that this is an opportunity to check yourself, that we are not going to be there because of our relationship with Africa, because of this, because of that. Therefore, your electoral process must be transparent. Mr. Obama's presidency excites people all across the continent. Pamela Glass is a US-based reporter for one of Mauritius' largest newspapers, Le Mauritien. She says Mauritius' interest in the U.S. dates back many years. Trade situation has exploded enormously between the United States and Mauritius under the AGOA, the African Growth and Africa Opportunity Act. Mauritius textiles have greatly benefited from that. So there are a lot of very concrete um, reasons for them to be interested in the United States. In addition, Glass says, Mr. Obama's mixed heritage particularly inspires Mauritius' Creole community. They're the ones that struggle educationally, economically, and socially to find a place in the society. And I think they see a success story like they've seen in the ascendancy of Obama to the presidency as maybe something that they could look at and emulate in their own community. The African public had access to a variety of news sources on the U.S. elections, but the African journalists believe they offered the best coverage for their audience. Ben Bangura is with the online paper AfricaLog.com of Guinea. I have to... Uh, explain how that primary system is processed here in, uh, compared to the system we have in Guinea. So from that perspective, I think uh, uh, my explaining is far more different, far more uh, uh, different, I would say, uh, from uh, whoever is uh, reporting on American politics from American perspective here. The African journalists say they were honored to witness U.S. history and that they are now better reporters because of the experience. Dimiake Mwakalielie, VOA News.